Against an active shooter, your priority has to be to protect yourself and your loved ones. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Manila, the Philippines. It shows us an active killer situation in a casino there and teaches us some very important lessons here about situational awareness and particularly awareness for you and your loved ones and where danger can come from. Secondly, about the run, hide, fight paradigm and how your best action as a self-defender is usually to just get out of the danger zone. Go watch the originals on this one. They're significantly long and there's a lot going on here. But what we see is our perp get into this elevator with these two ladies and you can see he has multiple backpacks on him. And right now you can just barely see that he is putting his mask on so that he can hide his face. Go read the news stories and he has been banned from casinos because he has a serious gambling problem. He's estranged from his wife. Uh, and, and this guy has every reason to not want to live according to him. And so there's a lot of pre-attack indicators that this guy needed some help. And what we're going to see here is a few lessons as it walks through the beginning of an active killer incident. This guy, first of all, bypasses the security gate. Now, as this, the security woman says, hey, you got to go through the gate, sir, he draws his rifle. He has a full auto M4 that he, we're going to see here in a little bit. And as soon as he does, everybody gets out of the danger zone. Remember that run, hide, fight mentality that we, you know, that the FBI really espouses and as soon as this guy's coming through people run yes absolutely get out of the danger zone I don't recommend even even if you got a gun don't stand and have a gunfight with this guy now if you can't run hide and watch the employee here ducks down under the desk even as this guy is lighting off shots ducks down to hide and then as soon as he gets out of that spot where that guy's an immediate problem you see these other folks who were hiding they run so again run if you can possibly run if you can't run hide if you cannot run and cannot hide fight so this guy comes loaded for bear he's got a bunch of gasoline or some kind of propellant in uh, his bag and some lighters and he's starting to light casino tables on fire now this is an armed robbery i'm going to show you that in a little while but he lights a whole bunch of casino tables on fire he lights some slot machines on fire he's just going to light everything on fire to cover his tracks and as he's walking through anytime he feels like it he's going to light off some shots like he does there so this is why we talk about run hide fight as he goes back to the back part of the house these employees run out of there as well and you're going to see him here try to get into the back of the house where they keep the chips he's thinking there's money there as well and you can see him lighting it up and look at how fast he shoots so this is why i'm saying this is you know a fully auto a select fire firearm you can see how short the barrel is as well uh, and he's going to use that firearm and have a hard time with it here. You notice here he's going to get some kind of a malfunction. He pulls a magazine out. He's ejecting a jam in there, puts it back in, gets the gun back in the fight, taking forever, but that's okay for in, in his world. You know what I mean? He's just taking all the time he wants, and now he's going to kick in the door to where the casino chips are, and he doesn't find any cash, but he goes to the place where there is the high dollar chips and takes about $2.3 million worth of chips, which if you think about it, it's not gonna work out for him because I'll just change the chips out and pretty easy there. Now, as he's trying to get out of the place, he's trying to figure his way out of there from the basement and he's gonna run into security here in just a minute. You see that's security with rifles as well, not Philippine police quite yet, but on on the casino security. Now, as this guy's gonna come back around, they're looking for him and you can see him start to find him there. And now as you see the bottom two exchanging fire and everything that I've seen and all the news story says that one of those shots actually got this guy. You're gonna see him kind of start to head up the stairs. Oh man, I've been shot. And this is why you gotta watch out for these guys because you know he's still a danger. And we're gonna see him here. He goes up to the fifth floor. He's trying to get into this hotel room and he's gonna you know, shoot the door multiple times to get in there, set some more fires. And then when the police finally show up, they're not gonna get in. This guy takes his own life. So the things that we wanna learn out of this one is how fast a deadly force encounter can happen in an active killer environment. And it reminds us again of the run, hide, fight mentality. Run out of the area if you possibly can. If you can't run, hide. If he doesn't see you, he won't shoot you. If you can't run and you can't hide, fight with everything you have because your life is definitely at risk with an active killer around. Let's learn the lessons here and cover our ASP.